What's up YouTube? This is Dragon and this is another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. So let's get to the battle at hand. Now I have to say that the Pokemon that I fear the most is probably the Ice and Ghost type, which name eludes me for some reason, but I've said it a billion times so I have no reason why I forgot it. Um, I'm predicting that might be the Either that Pokemon will be the first one or the uh, Star Raptor. Ah, there it is. It's the Frostlass. The Frostlass comes out first. Okay, so what I'm really worried about is the Destiny Bond. Because that can just screw up my whole life. You know, and then, you know, what if it's Hail and then I miss the knockoff? So that'll be a problem too. Hopefully, that's not going to be a problem in this battle. And I can just, you know, call it a day. So let me see. I got Blast Swords rolling them. Okay, um, my main ordeal is to kill this Frostlass. That's what I need to do. So I'm going to knock it off. I'm going to knock off its item. And Draining Kiss, well, that's not going to kill me. That's not even Stab. You know, sure, it does, you know, whatever damage up. Critical hit. Doesn't even matter. You know, Draining Kiss. So this knockoff, of course, is going to knock it down to a Sash. And then... Seeing that it used Draining Kiss, I have a feeling I know what's coming up next. So, I... One of two things. You know, it's going to probably use Destiny Bond, so... The question is... Do I want my Conkeldur to die? Do I want that? Or do I want my Blastoise to die? If my Blastoise dies, then... I have something for the Talon Flame. No, not... You know, Star Raptor. Let me see. You know what? Let's see. Yeah. Mm, overall, overall, it would be better if I, unfortunately, let Conkeldur die. So, I'm going to use Knock Off, and probably Destiny Bond is going to come up now. Please don't use Destiny Bond. No, nope, this Destiny Bond. Yeah. It was, it was inevitable. I had no choice because somebody had to take the fall. Somebody had to die. All my Pokemon are slower than this Pokemon, so there's nothing I really could have done. And it's really unfortunate. So, yeah. So let's see. From here, who do I send out now? I'm going to send out my Blastoise because Blastoise can pretty much, you know, unless it's that, um, that, uh, what you call it, you know, the Electros. I really hope my Pokemon, uh, my opponent doesn't have the Electros because that's the only Pokemon my Blastoise can't just like. Yeah, there it is. It's the Star Raptor. All right. So, I can just go for the Ice Beam, and will there be an Intimidate? No. So, it's a Reckless one. So, being that it's Reckless, most likely it's going to use, like, a move that'll do a lot of Reckless damage. So, I'll be able to just kill it with Ice Beam upon the Mega Evolution. So, Mega Evolve and Ice Beam. Now, let's see. Oh, good. My opponent stays. And it's not like Star Raptor can, like, paralyze me or anything like that. And unless Star Raptor gets, like, a crit or something ridiculous, I'm not going to die. So, Brave Bird, that's not going to kill Blastoise. It's not going to kill Blastoise. Not going to happen. Never. And... Okay. So now from here, the Ice Beam should kill this Star Raptor. And that is a dead Star Raptor. Good job, Blastoise. You're doing a great job out there. Keep up the good work! Uh, you're better than Ash's level 1 Squirtle. Alright, so, alright, it's low punny. So, being that my opponent's last Pokemon is low punny, I'm definitely not worried because I have a max defensive Rotom with Resto Chesto, so, you know, whatever the case may be, I'm definitely going to be good to go. Heck, I could even burn it. I can do a lot of things. And I'm max defense, so yeah. So, I'm going to go for the Aura Sphere, and maybe I, I highly doubt I can live... Uh, a fake out and a return. I don't think that's gonna happen, but um, You know you can hope you know I might live it highly doubt it. It's a possibility But I just might do it. So who knows? Uh, Blastoise flinching couldn't move. No, 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 no. What am I even talking about? Blastoise is not gonna live this. This is ridiculous So I'm gonna go for the aura sphere just in case I don't know a random choke Return I know the return is coming. You're not gonna high jump kick. That's just utterly ridiculous you know, 90% chance to hit. And uh, uh, there's a return. Alright. So now, what might determine whether I win or lose at this juncture is if I hit the Will-O-Wisp. The Will-O-Wisp is going to be very important. 
So being that will o has 85% accuracy, I more or less have an 85% chance to win. Okay. So... Let's do this, Rotom. Let's go for the will o -Wisp. Max health points, max defense. We're gonna take this like a champ. Come on, Rotom. Just hit that will o and we in it to win it. Let's do it. And... Come on. Come on, man. Well, I mean, I mean, like, my opponent, my opponent is in the predicament, so I understand, I guess I can understand why my opponent's taking a bit of a long time to make a decision, but I do hope that my opponent makes a decision pretty soon, because, you know, um, wait, communication, please stand by, wait, okay, that's, oh, that's right, I made the decision, okay, alright, I was freaking out, because my internet, you know, sometimes it's questionable, you guys know about this, but, I just hope my opponent's internet isn't questionable. Hopefully my internet's not questionable either right now. Come on. Come on. I mean, but then again, this is kind of weird. Okay, drain punch. All right. Whew. I could definitely take that. I'm very shocked. There we go. will o -Wisp, I got it. I'm very shocked that my opponent opted for the drain punch as opposed to the high jump kick because low punting isn't going to really benefit from it. It's not like it's a conch elder. So... You know, it just can't do it. Like, it doesn't work out, you know? Um, that's really unfortunate, you know? I don't know what that's about, really. But I'm gonna Thunderbolt. Because now... Okay. Let's see how much return does after burn. And it... Oh, that was a crit, folks! That did absolutely nothing. Alright. So that's feeling pretty nice. I'm feeling really nice. Now, I'm thinking in the back of my mind I can be that guy, but I'm not gonna be that guy. And I'm going to finish off this low punny right now because I don't need to rest, you know? I just don't need to. I can just Thunderbolt it and finish it off right now. Unless he gets another crit. Alright, there we go. So I Thunderbolt this low punny. And that, my friends, my fellow Dragonites, is the game. Very good game. Um, I must say, I did enjoy that one as well quite interesting um yeah 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 you know when it called when it came down to the decision whether i would let my conch elder die or um my blastoise and i guess in retrospect i'm glad that i let my um uh, conch elder die because i was able to just ice bright as you can see if i check this out if i let my if I let my Blastoise die instead, then I would have been in the situation where I would not have been able to obviously send out Conch Elder to the Talonflame. So I would have had to have sent out Rotom. Rotom would have took a lot of damage and it would have been very uncomfortable. You know, reckless, uh, reckless double edge, you know, that's not comfortable at all. It will still do a ton of damage to a Rotom because reckless double edge, you're done. All right, that's at least half, all right? So I would have had to have dealt with, you know, the, uh, well, then again, I might, I would have had to have dealt with the return coming from the low punny. Glad I didn't really have to deal with that because I made the right decision and decided to do the more safer play, you know, because the talent, mm, Star Raptor was the bigger threat. So got that out the way and everything turned out pretty well. Well, I'm glad that you guys enjoy these battles. And, as you know, I will see you in the next one. Well, see you later.